Hey everyone, welcome back. For this one, we're going to take a look at this thick boy here. This is the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT, specifically the XFX Thick 2. And yes, that's thick spelt with a double C. This was AMD's high-end offering back in 2019. I managed to pick this one up for, believe it or not, just £130 off eBay in an auction. A quick overview of its specs, it has base clock speed of 1670MHz with a boost clock speed of 1925MHz and 8GB of VRAM clocked at 1750MHz. For display output, we get three display ports and a single HDMI port and all of this is powered by a 6-pin and an 8-pin connector requiring at least a 550W PSU. So, five years on, how well does this once high-end AMD card hold up? Well, let's find out. As always, I'll be pairing it with my Ryzen 7 2700X and 16GB of DDR4 RAM clocked at 3200MHz. We'll kick things off with CS2, we're running it at 1080p with a low uh, preset and we won't have any FSR on for now. Uh, in my past experience with the AMD card, CS2 tends to stutter a bit, but uh, uh, we'll have to see what it's like with uh, this one. I don't know why we're capped at 120 FPS here, because uh, we're not running it. Uh, we're running at 100 yeah, so there's no, uh, there shouldn't be any kind of Visa, the V6 disabled. We'll see how it goes in game. All right, this is looking promising. We're getting a uh, 200, uh, over 200 FPS. Uh, the, uh, although the percentile lows are looking great. Yeah, yeah. Got another one. And another one. But yeah, that's, uh, I mean, at least it's not noticeably stuttery. I mean, that frame tag graph, what's going on there? But yeah, this is running very well. Surprisingly, I was expecting you know, some uh, really bad micro stuttering, but nope, this is going very well. Although the uh, the fans on the uh, on my 5700 XT are pretty loud. Mind you, though, it's only what 50 odd degrees. When it gets to about 60, they get really loud. Uh, are you going to shoot me or what? Bye bye. But yeah. CS2 runs really well on this card. Can't complain there. I was obviously expecting worse being an AMD card, but no, nope, this is running very well. So hopefully, with the other games we're going to test, we're going to have uh, good results with those as well. Get another one in. Get another couple. Oh, no. I haven't died yet. That's a good thing. No. Needs to change weapon. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh, come on. Right, let's move on. <laughs> Doom Eternal now. Uh, I figured we'll run this at 1080p with the uh, Ultra Nightmare settings. Uh, so this game would have come out a year after the uh, the 5700 XT. Uh, but uh, yeah, I figured we'll uh, see how it copes at the max settings. Right, here we go. And at Ultra Nightmare settings, we are getting 180 FPS. That is, that is really good. I'm really surprised at that. Hang on a minute, haven't I done this bit before? Before I got a checkpoint. Ah, uh, well, whatever. It's a good, uh, good area to benchmark. Get over here. Oh, no, oh, come on, Mr. Glory Kill. Out my way. Oh, this is running. Oh, oh, we got a bit. We got a 0.1% low there. 19. I don't know if that's just a blip. Uh, so I'll just uh, reset the counter there. See if it does it again. But no, it's 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 looking pretty stable now. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Ooh, no, no. Hello. Right behind you. Oh no. I'll let these guys have a fight on themselves. Oh no. Oh, I've missed it. Oh no, I'm gonna die. No, oh, this is. I can't believe how well this is. I can't remember the last time I saw it nearly over 200 FPS with Doom Eternal. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, it's just flipped again. Okay, that right, we're good. I mean, it's kind of to be expected when the game's just loaded in, you get that bit of a uh, bit of stutter. But no, this is all good. Okay, no, just over 190 FPS. 
the max settings. It's a shame that this uh, that ray tracing didn't come in until the uh, what seven series, uh, seven thousand series cards. Actually, no. Did I hear that the uh, the RX sixty three hundred supports ray tracing? Do, does does the six thousand series support ray tracing now? I'll have to have a look into that because I do have an RX sixty four hundred. See if that was it. See if, I, if that supports ray tracing, I might do a video on that. I think 6400 versus ray tracing with a former entry level card and no longer the most entry level card. Get on, get out. Oh, we got it, we got it. Nice. And I've got no fuel in my chainsaw, I got nothing. Oh no, we're good. Now we're out of uh, chainsaw fuel. It's okay, we're nearly done. That we made it we made it anyway we made it <laughs> time to move on to the next we'll try god of war now uh, i've uh, played it a little bit more so we have to have any you know somewhere which actual gameplay in terms of the uh, graphical settings i've decided to go with the high preset at 1080p uh no upscaling let me just double check that's off for you yep, fsr is off uh and yeah, this is running, looks like it's running, going to run pretty well. So, counting frames now, we're getting uh, over 80 FPS, which is uh, not bad. I mean, I don't know what's, uh, what would be great for this kind of game, but... No deer tracks. Um, but yeah, this is, yeah, this, this is not running as good as, as, you know, I would think it would, but... Given this game, what game I what, did this? Did the PC PC version come out in 2020? So a year after this card came out, am I right? But yeah, I mean, I don't know a great deal about this game. I haven't seen this being played in many benchmarks, you know, particularly of, of cards of this era. So I'm not sure what's to be expected. I mean, during the cutscenes, get like over 100 FPS. <laughs> That's something. But even so. I mean, it's pl obviously, it's very playable. Ooh, it's a deer with blue antlers. Found, it. found a deer. Boy. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Same thing, isn't it? I mean, it's, I mean, yeah. Obviously, what's important is that it's stable. We broke our bridge. Percentile lows are pretty good. Step aside. We're not even maxing out the uh, the, the the GPU. So that's surprising. We got maybe we got a bottleneck somewhere. Is it just we're just not utilizing maybe it's not as well optimized as i think it would it was well oh well it's the eat my axe let's go oh i pressed the wrong button but i was meant to do that <laughs> oh boy Wise words. <laughs> Find it. Tough look. I don't know if you can hear the fans, but those fans are loud. At 60, 60 Celsius. Right, time to uh, crack some skulls. Hooey! Try and get some combat. Yes. Oh, this that's great. Oh, I like that. That is excellent combat. I can't remember the last time I played a. Uh, a good action hack and slash kind of game like this. Been the last God of War to play God of War. <laughs> God of War three. That was heck, that was heck of fun. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Anyway, I don't want to get too. Uh... <laughs> oh God, we got more. Right, we'll, we'll finish off this combat and then we'll move on, otherwise I might uh, be on this all night. Get out of here. God, they just keep coming back. And they keep respawning. Oh, gosh, I forgot. I did not realize I had a shield. Anyway, uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's move on before I get uh, before I get distracted even further. I recently uh, renewed my... Uh, Xbox Game Pass, uh, and uh, found out that Diablo 4 is now on it, so I figured we'll uh, give that a go. I mean, I know it's a controversial game, but, you know, last time I tried it out, I thought it wasn't too bad. It was, 
it's playable. It's playable on older hardware for that matter, so I guess that's something. So I'm going to run this at 1080p uh, with the uh, no resolution scaling, high preset. That's pretty much the as high as it can go. We'll go, we'll go with ultra settings, I think. Uh, and actually, no, stick to high. Stick to high. Uh, save changes, and then we might uh, max foreground, max foreground FPS. Uh, just okay. yeah. save changes. Right, let's go. So, got a bit of stutter there. Come on, try that again. Come on, mate. There we go. Right, so 150 FPS. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go crack some skulls. I've uh, played as a barbarian. Who's bald and bearded. Like yours truly. But yeah, this is going pretty well. I mean, yeah, the bit stuttery there. It's like, got percent how load was pretty bad. Unless it was just loading, I don't know. But this is an always online game, isn't it? For some reason. Most tips actually is on uh, the Blizzard store. You can get like uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected, Diablo 3 with all the. Uh, expansions and stuff and uh, this for 40 pounds which is not bad but to be fair i've got the original version of diablo 2 and quite frankly i'm quite but uh yeah not much more to say about this it's running very well if you're gonna play diablo 4 you're gonna get to go but what i'm curious about is the ray trace it does ray trace it actually work on it well or not let me do it about ray tracing high see what happens if i do that Oh, the game might crash. <laughs> I bet the game crashes. Oh. Hmm. Have we actually got ray tracing? I actually don't know. It's just running at the same frame rate as before, so maybe it's not meant to actually work. I mean, it looks very nice, though. I don't know if the ray tracing is actually on. Might have to try it with another game, like Cyberpunk, see if it actually... Because uh, if you look at that fire there, Turn ray tracing off and see if that actually changes anything. I mean, it's clearly doing something because the game freezes whilst it thinks about it. Don't look any different. I don't think ray tracing actually works. It's just because, you know, if, if most, you know, vast majority of games, if ray tracing is uh, not available, it'll just not have the option available but anyway let's uh let's move on to the next one. forza motorsport now it's uh it's been a while but uh what i've figured we'll do is we're running this at 1080p and i've uh, been you know set everything to high figured i'd just do that and in a race now we are start counting those frames we're getting a uh, 90 odd fps that's pretty good uh, I don't know if this game's a bit more optimised since it got launched, I remember when it first came out, and uh, it didn't run that great. But we're getting over 100 FPS now, so I'm guessing they have uh, improved uh, optimization since then. Ooh. But yeah, it's, it's running very well, no stuttering. Oh, come on. Focus. Focus on the uh, blooming... Benchmark! Oh, come on! Dang it. Ooh, we're getting over 100. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Don't have to do any upscaling. We do have FSR uh, 2.0 available, but there's no point in that because I'm quite happy with that frame rate. Oh, come on. I forgot. I, I, I don't play much driving games these days. I forget how to drive <laughs> in the game. Drive all the time in real life. I don't forget how to do that. Just getting used to the, uh, the handling of this car. My M4. Excuse me, coming through. God, I'm really surprised at how capable this uh, this car is. You know, for the price I paid for 130 pounds, I'm getting this kind of performance on modern games. You know, newer titles. It's really impressive. Well, I'm quite curious to see how it will fare in Starfield. This <laughs> is I've got access to that again. Since our lows are pretty good as well, the stuttering is non-existent. The uh, frame time graph is pretty smooth. Excuse me, coming through. But yeah, even if you pay like you know, 150, 170 pounds for one of these, I still think that's really good value for money.
you know, for a card that you know you get, it's just it just I've had no, you know the games are tested so far had no issues. But then again, we haven't tested the most demanding games, so you know, like Cyber still still yet to test Cyberpunk, Starfield. We'll have to uh, we'll, we'll get those up next. See how they get on. I mean, we're, we're not just near, just about maxing out the GPU. Okay, we got this. We got this. Ooh. Put my position, mate. Oh, come on, concentrate. Finished third, but what with that penalty? Hey, even with a penalty, we still uh, came third. That's not too bad. But anyway, uh, after all that, we've got 102 FPS. The percentile low, 68 for not for one percent, and 38 FPS for not for one percent. That's pretty respectable, I think. Uh, so let's uh, move on. On to Cyberpunk 2077 now. We'll go with the uh, high preset at 1080p. Uh, we'll do away with that resolution scaling for now. See how we get on with that. Can't imagine we'll have that much problems with it, but uh, let's see. Oh, we're getting over 100 FPS. Bloody hell. <laughs> Not expecting that. So we're getting, so yeah, averaging 100 FPS. There's no stuttering. I mean, when I did test this out previously, we did get a bit of stuttering, so I don't know why. I don't know what's going on, probably just a blip, but it was like there were just constant micro stutters. We do get that sometimes with the, uh, you know, it's, I've experienced, I tend to experience micro stutters more with AMD cars and uh, NVIDIA. So it's almost like uh, support's not as great for AMD GPUs. But, no, this is actually running pretty well. Let's just try and get it to go somewhere more intense. Oh, no! I mean, it is, yeah, that's, the, yeah, they. It is coming down that percentile low as we go into more intensive areas. Get out of my way! But yeah, and the frame rate is also coming down as we get on, move on into the city, down to 60 FPS. Oh, it's going down even further. But yeah, it's still pretty good experience for you know for Cyberpunk. I mean, maybe if we enable FSR, we might get some you know better frames. But we might test that out and see what. Uh, impact that has but quite frankly you know you know for cyberpunk i'd say 60, 60 fps is you know is the sweet spot <laughs> for most guys you can get 60 fps you're good who are these guys why do they keep shooting at me oh go away no go away oh you son of a get out of here no uh, no 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 Every time. Oh, you son of a. Anyway, I'm gonna re we'll enable FSR now. Uh, <laughs> reload the save. Right, so we're gonna enable FSR and set the uh, set that to quality. Uh, to see what kind of impact that has on the frame rates. And it doesn't look like it's having that much of an impact. So, uh, still getting just short of 100 FPS. It might be better for the uh, percentile lows somewhat. Usually does help with that uh, a little bit. Uh, so we'll go for another drive around just to uh, see what it is. But yeah, it's yeah, it's a bit more stable. That's that's the other thing it has done. Well, at least it, um, I don't know. It does look a bit fuzzy around the edges. That's the thing with FSR. Well, I, don't, yeah, I prefer DLSS over FSI. That the you know DLSS doesn't make it look like a muddy mess. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bit, yeah, not as much stuttering. So you either get high frame rates or less stuttering. You have no, it's uh, one or the other. Sometimes both. Oops. Oh no, they're at it again. Oh, God. Who are you guys? I don't know what you want from me. I'm just driving around, minding my own business, doing some benchmarks, and yet you guys just keep coming at me. No matter which way I go, you come after me and start absolutely totally my car. But yeah, it's, FSR doesn't make that much of a difference at quality settings. Maybe you obviously get better uh, balanced. But even so, I mean, I'd say with Cyberpunk, an RX 57 or XT will run this absolutely fine at a good frame rate without much stuttering for that matter and I'm dead we'll try out wild hearts now uh, we'll run this at 1080p of course uh, no upscaling and, we'll, and I think we'll go with the uh, standard settings so let's see how it handles that it's not a particularly well optimized game in my opinion we'll see how it handles the 5700 XT all right, here we go. So yeah, we're getting 60 odd FPS already. We're not the percentile lows aren't looking great. 
Uh, sprint, 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 sprint. And jump. But yeah, they uh, they're getting a bit of a micro stutter here and there. But at least it's somewhat playable. I mean, to be honest, when I, did, I actually originally tested this out before, and yeah, the, the stuttering was worse, so I don't know why it's uh, not doing so bad now. But yeah, I mean, maybe, mind you, though, maybe I tried it on high settings. Oh, no, we got big stutter there. Never mind. Spoke too soon. And he did it again. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, God, the stuttering's really bad. Yeah, probably have to go down to enable FSR. See how that affects the uh, the stuttering. Do that in a moment. Oh god, it's really bad. Right, okay, time to enable FSR. <laughs> okay, we have FSR enabled. It's just the FSR option, which I'm assuming means balanced, because you have FSR and FSR quality. Those are the options for that. Um, and so far, so good. We're getting over 80, nearly 90 FPS, which is all right. Although. Trying to figure out, it doesn't look great to be honest. Into it, but at least it's playable. And so far, no stuttering, although it's it's around here that's where the stuttering starts. But by the looks of it, we've got a bit of spike there, but at least it wasn't noticeable. Yeah, this is the thing with the uh, AMD cards. They don't seem to be. Uh, you know, games don't seem to be as well optimized for AMD cards as they are for uh, Nvidia. Either that or AMD are just not very good with their drivers, but yeah, I don't know. But even so, I think AMD do offer some great quality cards. The only downside is like the uh, the features I want on the on on an RTX card are not available on AMD for like you know their broadcast software, which lets you do this virtual green screen, which is what I've got. I'm not using a proper green screen; it's all done through my RTX 3060. You know, also the, there's you know mic mic audio adjustment as well make you know get out background noise i mean amd does have that kind of thing but apparently it's not very good but anyway i'm quite i'm still quite happy i got a 5700 xt i've probably use it mostly using it for like you know what obviously when i want to do modern games on stream and you know if i want to do linux gaming of course you know with amd you've got that linux support i have no idea where i'm going so yeah i've been wanting to get like a high-end AMD card for a while now, and I think the 5700 XT is pretty good for what it is. So we go over here. No, the stuttering still bad. It's not as, not as bad. I guess what, is, is that an invisible wall? It's, a, it's an invisible wall. Anyway, I have no idea where I'm going, but overall, with Wild Hearts, to get a best, the best out of it, you need to enable FSR, which you shouldn't have to, but it is what it is. Um, and uh, yeah, you get uh, you know 90 FPS. It's not it's not too bad to get a playable experience out of it. I know nobody plays Starfield anymore. Everyone here say blah blah blah. But I think it's still a fun game to uh, benchmark. Uh, so uh, running this at the native resolution 1080p with the uh, high presets, but we won't have any kind of uh, upscaling for now. We do actually have the option of frame generation in this one, which uh, I'm keen to uh, test out. Uh, in a bit but we'll go with that uh, without any kind of upscaling and whatnot for now and see what we get i mean this you know quite uh this moon slash planet whatever uh we're getting uh 40 fps which does not surprise me <laughs> uh, and we got stuttering as well there's a surprise yep it's as good as gonna get without any kind of upscaling and whatnot so yeah see uh the, the you know the recent patches have done absolutely nothing for for the game oh come on what are you doing just go who's that who's that down there anyway who just landed that's not my ship is it no it's not my ship yep right let's go let's go do some combat pew 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 got him I got another one, and where you think you're going? Do you know I've been playing that much Mass Effect recently? I was thinking, oh, I'll use my biotics. Nope. 
<laughs> Mind you, though, don't Starfield you'll have something like that? You have some kind of uh, superpower torn straight out of Mass Effect. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, at least it's oh, yeah, it's playable at least. But you're gonna we're gonna have to do some upscaling. So uh, let's get that activated, shall we? We'll enable FSR. Three. We've got that. We've got access to FSR three. Uh, I think we'll enable the frame gen and set the re render resolution scale to sixty six percent. See how uh, that f uh, affects things. So, uh, whoa, 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 that makes a hell of a difference. We're getting over hundred FPS now. Uh, uh, percentile lows are looking good. It's looking very stable as well. That is, you know, that's quite something. So, but in my opinion, we sh you shouldn't have to. I mean, you, you should, you know. For, uh, you know, FSR should be like reserved for like older hardware, not something that's like you know that was like three years old when it was released and high end for that matter. I mean, let's head to over to like uh, is it New, New Atlantis? We'll head over there and just see what kind of frame rates we get there because obviously that's the most intensive part of the game. So over in New Atlantis, we're still getting over yeah, getting close to 100 FPS. That's uh, that's surprising. I mean, I, I was, I would you know, I, I remember my surprise when. Uh, I was testing out 4060 using frame gen in that, and that that just blew me away. It was like a totally different game. Oh no, it's the Adobe fan. Run, no! Oh, damn it. Boot you back to oblivion. Get away from me, you weirdo. Oh, you must have me confused with someone who isn't your number one fan. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> anyway, that made the. Uh, that, that messed up my. Uh, my benchmark figures, but yeah, it's. I mean, the percentile lows aren't as good. I mean, it's just to be expected. But yeah, what do you expect? It's Starfield. It just works. <laughs> Use frame gen. They'll run pretty well if you if you're gonna play Starfield at all. I mean, I might give it another go. It's one of those games that I played when I, when I was out of work. I played quite a lot of it. It was quite it was quite relaxing to play. I mean, I, I think there's a lot. That I'm never going to take, you know, the whole crafting thing is just complex and I just don't really care for it. But the combat, you know, my favourite thing about Starfield is the combat. The combat's really fluid. It was a lot of fun. But the whole, the, the RPG elements are just pfft, not a fan. And not to mention the end of the game, the uh, the, the storyline's just a bit ugh, it's, the storyline's not very good. But then again, when has Bethesda ever done a good story? <laughs> Yeah, if you if you, you know, if you got Game Pass, it's worth playing. If you don't, I, I personally don't think it's worth buying, even when it goes even when it eventually goes cheap. I don't think it'll be worth buying. I mean, for, I mean, on the plus side, I mean, with FSR, it doesn't look that fuzzy around the edges, which I think is a good thing. Actually, uh, I don't know about the building. No, actually, no, no, it's just me. It's probably because I'm playing at 1080p on a 4040p monitor. That doesn't really help things. But yeah. Starfield will run just great on a 5700XT if you use FSR and frame gen, I guess. So to conclude, should you buy a 5700XT in 2024? For 1080p gaming, this card certainly holds up very well and its attractive price on the used market makes it a no-brainer if you're looking to build a gaming PC on a budget. I got lucky getting mine for £130 as the going rate for these is around £150 to £175, though this depends on the brand and model of the GPU. One thing to bear in mind though, some games are not as well optimised for AMD cards as they are for Nvidia cards like we saw with Starfield and Wild Hearts, so you're likely to see micro stuttering here and there. If that puts you off, the Nvidia equivalent of this card would be the RTX 2070 which can be picked up for similar money. While that gains you ray tracing support, you lose that frame generation support that the RX 5700 XT has, so it's down to what's more important to you. So that's all for this one. Let me know your thoughts on the RX 5700 XT down in the comments below. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.